there's no mail. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Less than 5% of the people living the street life are actually able to get out from that life. So this is the thing that I'm most proud of and this is the hardest thing that I did in my life was to actually get out from the street life, that criminal life. And in this video, I will tell you those three steps that you will need to take to be successful doing this, inshallah. So what a beautiful day, alhamdulillah. I love to take the sun. My mom, she has a dog. We're walking the dog. Her name is Nuga. So the first thing you have to do is to take the decision to change your life. You know what I mean? Why change your life? Because, simple. Check other people, what they're doing. You can't live a life like that. It's not possible. You can't be old and still be a gangster and have a lot of money and not go to jail and not getting shot and not have problems it doesn't work like that the history of the like there's not a lot of people that can make it so why take a life why choose a life that you don't have a lot of probability to have a good life okay so now first of all take the decision to change your life inshallah Decide to change your life. This is not the first step. This is the basic. Okay, this is what you have to do. After that, what you will need to do, really important, is to change the friends you're hanging out with. You will not be able to change if you stay with the bad friends that you are right now. You know, it will not work. You become the fifth of the four people you hang out with. Now is a lockdown. Depending on where you live, here where I live, we have lockdown. We have curfew. It's easy. Just stay at home. You know, and be calm. And and maybe it's gonna be hard because you like to be with a lot of people but this is the first thing you need to do inshallah and after that you will need to find other people good people to hang out with before it was kind of easy you just go to the masjid and you find people but now the masjids are kind of closed because of the virus thing as well and in the masjid you don't you know it's hard to find people that are really good in business unfortunately so what you're gonna have to do is to follow people on YouTube and in all the social media you know that really have made their life that they, they're already there and they can be your mentor and try to hang out with them how you can do this it's easy just watch their videos all day you know always be with them every day it's gonna change your mind it's gonna change your way the way you think about things you know what I mean and it's gonna give you new knowledge to be able to change your life because you will not be able to change your life if you don't put new knowledge in your mind it's impossible okay so this is the first thing change your friend you hang out with tip number two what you need to do is to input new positive habit into your daily routine okay meaning i'm gonna give you an example of negative habits some people they need to smoke a cigarette every time they finish eating some people they need to drink alcohol when there is some sun some people once they drink alcohol they need to take a line of cocaine every time so those little things have make a big negative impact on your life so now what you need to do is to put positive habit an example every day you're gonna read for 15 minutes a good book the Quran a book about business or every day you're gonna train you know for like 15 minutes and when you get used to that 15 minutes you add another 15 minutes and then you're down to 30 minutes a day okay so this is tip number two you need to add positive habit into your daily routine inshallah so the third tip is kind of a hard one this one okay you have to be humble like this is really hard for a lot of people you know like i was driving in the bands i was driving like like all those big cars and luxurious cars and after that when you want to change you don't have the money for to do this and you have to be humble to take the bus you have to be humble to walk you have to be humble to go to the metro you have to be humble to drive a less nice car you know i drive right now an old car that is rusted i could buy another car that is not rusted i can buy it uh, no, no problem but it's just you have to make the decision you know what i mean to be humble to save money okay so that's gonna be the fourth the bonus tip okay so the third tip is to be humble to downgrade your life like 
It's okay to have like less nicer shoes. It's okay to have less nicer clothes for a small time because you have to think about the future. Think about the future. Your future is going to be brighter. Your future is going to be better. Why? Because you're not going to go to jail. You're not going to get killed. Inshallah, you're going to have a better life and you're going to be able to have all your stuff that you want later on, inshallah, when you're going to be successful, inshallah, in this dunya, inshallah. You know, and the other people that are flashing, driving nice cars and all of that, they might, big probability, like I think 95% of probability, they will lose all that and they will go to jail and they will be nobody when they're going to be old. You know what I mean? I'm 42 years old. Imagine me at 42 years old, still trying to flash, still not having money in, my, in the bank, still not having a business, still doing like with things that other people do at 18 years old but actually you have to be humble to do things that people do at 18 years old to change your life i'm talking about in a good way so this is the third tip really really important be humble and don't care about what people think focus on your goals focus on your future inshallah so we finished walking the dog and the dog poop and yes i had to pick up the poop and put it in my hand and walking with the poop what a feeling what a disgusting feeling i don't like that i don't even understand why human love they love so much dogs that they have to walk with them and walk with their poop in the hands or whatever so this is done so now what we're gonna do because it's a beautiful day we're gonna go tube sliding and right after that i will give you a bonus tip Inshallah. What is really important to do, my brothers and sisters, is to never forget to pray. Wherever you are, wherever the weather is, you have to be prepared. This is your duty as a Muslim. You need to be prepared to pray. Yeah, bring some carpet, bring some towel, bring anything, bring some water for your wudu, bring anything you need pray on any time and this is how I set it up I brought a small plastic there to pray in the snow you can pray anywhere you are in the world this is your duty don't forget this so we're here right now waiting to get the ticket we have to keep this mask it's so beautiful the Sun just got up I would love to take some Sun we are here trying we're getting up up the mountains but beautiful day alhamdulillah it was snowing a little bit before now it stopped and the thing is that it's not cold very very beautiful day alhamdulillah first time that my daughter she does that me maybe the second time in my life or third time yeah so i'm gonna repeat it here because there's no music you can hear really good what i'm saying this is maple syrup frozen on snow actually it's really good canadian flag is actually a maple leaf so it's the same tree so from the same tree we have the canadian flag and we have here you have syrup that you can drink if you want to, to have a lot of sugar or you just or put it on on, on snow pancake. like that and oh pancake there's a lot of things you can eat with maple syrup but it's so good i have to stop filming because i need to eat this with my right hand inshallah <laughs> we have to buy another one this is not good for the health is it good for the health Maybe it's good for the health. It just come from a tree. Huh? But it's sugar, but I don't know. But it's fun. And it's good. Oh, I just fell down. Does it look like it? <laughs> well, it's really fun. So now this is the bonus tip and it's a really important one. Now that you have downgraded your life, now that you're making less money, okay? You have to really watch carefully where you're gonna spend that money. Don't spend that money on stupid dumb stuff that is not going to bring you more money. The first place you have to spend all your money in, okay? The first place, it's all in your brain. You have to spend money to learn, to buy knowledge that you're gonna be able to input inside your brain and that new knowledge is gonna be able to change yourself, okay? After that, when you have the tools in your head, okay, when you have the tools to make more money, now with that money, you have to save it and invest it in somewhere that is gonna bring you more money, inshallah. It's either in a business, it's either like in real estate, like there's many places to invest where it's gonna be bring you more money. Even put it in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or put it in a place that you are knowledgeable. Don't put it in Bitcoin if you don't know nothing about Bitcoin. Don't do this. If you don't know where you're going to invest, don't invest it, inshallah. So this is the bonus tip. Don't spend money in stupid, dumb stuff that is not going to bring you more money, inshallah. So with this, 
I think you're good to start to change your life, inshallah. And remember, this is the most hardest part and this is why most of the people are too weak. Yeah, too weak to do it. And they stay in the crime life. They stay in the strip life. Yes, for the woman. Strip dancer, prostitute, street life, they stay like that, you know, and it's really hard to change, but you need to really want it, you need to want a better life. So alhamdulillah, we had a beautiful day today, you know, it's time of virus, and it's time to lock down, and it's the winter here in Canada, you know, go outside, take a walk, go sliding like we did, go make some sport, you know, it's gonna be good for your head, inshallah. And I'm telling you, changing your life is not easy, but it's the only way, the only way to progress, the only way to advance. You need to change, change your life. Like uh, there's a saying, like Albert Einstein said, that the crazy people, crazy is to do the same thing, always the same thing, and waiting for a different result. It will never happen. So you need to change and don't wait too late. Like me, I started to change at 33 and now I'm 42 and I'm still not out of that, that moment. I'm still trying, I'm still not comfortable. It took me nine years and I'm still not good. The younger you start, the best adventures you're gonna have. And look at what other people are doing. You know, there's not a lot of people that live the street life or the criminal life and are making it and are alive and are not in jail and are comfortable and have money and can live their lives. It's about living a life where you feel happy, where you're good, where your family is good, when you need to change your life. Ask Allah to help you in this. It's not easy. This is the hardest things I did. The hardest thing I did in my life and I'm still doing it right now. Still, you need persistent. You need a goal. You need focus. And don't care about the other people. It's about your life. Because after that, in the grave, you will be alone. So it's your life. Be strong. And inshallah, if you have comment, if you have question, Put it in the comment. I will answer them in another video, inshallah. Subscribe to the channel. See you. Hmm. See you hmm. in my next video.